invite you to come forward for our children's message. Kids who are here, this is a chance to get out of your pew. It's fun to see you come up so enthusiastically. Uh, we welcome you all to get a closer look because there's some things for you to see during our kids' sermon, some things that I will be giving you at the end. And I see you guys are coming on up. Come on over. As you get seated, I will turn on over here our Epiphany tree. This tree has been helping us walk through this past season of light, a season that began with the star that the wise men followed, and now comes to an end today with a little more light. But as you look at the light here, you can also see all of the words that we've put on the tree over these past five weeks. We've had worship words. We put them in the shape of stars, our worship words have either been a person, a place, or a thing. And they're words that are helping us share the language of church, the language of liturgy, because it's not a language we really use in other places. And as people come here to St. Paul, we want to share the language that we're using. And I want to tell you kids that there have been a number of adults that have thanked me for these kids' sermons because these words are not just words we, we, you know, that we're teaching kids. We're, gonna do, we're doing this for everybody, and you're never going to outgrow learning about our language for church. You can always ask. You can always wonder what that means. So we have one more word. The words that we have put up there, we've had paramount. You can see them coming around. Font, vicar, alb, pulpit. Today we have another word a funny word that you might only hear in church. And here's our next word. It's on pink paper because it's a person. And this word is acolyte. The word is acolyte. Could you try saying it with me, everybody? Acolyte. Any guesses on what an acolyte does, who an acolyte might be? Oh, I've seen some hands raised. OK. Do you want to point to today's acolyte? All right, there you go, Colin. <laughs> so an acolyte is the person in worship who lights the candles, who carries in the light of Christ so that we know he's with us as we worship and who carries it back out again to remind us all that we shine our lights as we leave this place, right, into our regular week. So I'm going to add this word acolyte, our last worship word, to our tree. I'm going to put it back here. It'll come around as the tree turns. You can see it. Today's gospel lesson that Pastor Rob read, even the lesson that we heard that Mrs. Oberholzer read, we heard about light. We hear today on this special Sunday, that's another big word, transfiguration, we hear the story of Jesus going up a mountain and becoming so dazzling bright with light. Brighter than our epiphany tree, Brighter than that epiphany star that's hanging for one more Sunday there for us to see. Brighter than all the new lights in the sanctuary. We can use our imaginations to picture how bright Jesus was on that mountaintop, transfigured before his friends, and knowing fully that he is the Son of God. That's the light that we have here in this space today of Jesus and the light that we carry out of Jesus into the world. No matter how old we are, all of you are doing that as well. So thank you especially to our acolytes who learned today how to do that job. And we're going to bless them later in the worship service for that awesome step that they're taking in their faith of being worship leaders. And now I'd like to join you in a prayer. You can repeat after me. And then I have a kids bulletin for you all about that light that we heard in the gospel today. So please fold your hands and repeat after me. And the congregation is invited to as well. Thank you, Lord. For your, light, for your light, in this place, in, this place, in, my, heart, in my heart, help me shine it, help me shine in, it the world. in the world. Amen.